Hey everyone, my name is Artindi, and I remember the first time I played Portal. The story, especially in the second one, was so thrilling, thoughtful, and creative that I told everyone how great it was even though it was several years after the release. I think some of the most memorable games we have ever played have had a great story to go with them. For example, I have never played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, but anyone I talk to almost always brings up some guy named Jonathan Shepard and how they didn't see it coming. So I want to talk a little bit about what makes a story good in a video game, and no, it's not the plot twists even though they do help, and I want to touch on how we might go about including stories in the games we make. What are you doing? Stop it. Video games are an incredible storytelling medium. They let you experience the events portrayed by having you feel like you are making the choices that drive the plot forward, but the point is that the medium of video games is unique. As Mark Brown, creator of the Game Maker's Toolkit video series, puts it, it's clear that each artistic medium has its own unique language. Painting uses the language of shape and color. Music is an exploration of sound. Literature uses the language of, well, language. And film is about moving images. And video games can, of course, use all this stuff. But what makes the medium unique is interaction. Things like mechanics, rules, and systems you can poke at are the language of video games. However, I fear that as game developers, we often fail to use the medium to its fullest potential. I think for some of us, we have experienced great stories by playing a good game, and the story is often the most memorable thing, so we then sometimes turn around and try to make or sell games by focusing on the story rather than the gameplay. The honest truth is that very few people care about the story till they're actually playing the game. Brian Upton, the director of production design at Red Storm Entertainment, gave an enlightening GDC talk titled 30 Things I Hate About Your Game Pitch. And a lot of times people would think that they would, if they would say, you know, like, oh, you know, here are our pillars, that that would satisfy the need for what the, game, the hook of the game is. We want to have a really strong fantasy story in a really detailed world, and it's going to be all about hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, those are pillars. Those help keep you on track while you're making the game. But an important part of pitching is to tell the person you're pitching to why somebody would buy this game instead of, instead of something else that's already out there. Portal does this perfectly. If you watch the trailer for the first game, you might notice that it never talks about Gladys, even though it's her iconic voice giving the narration. And it never talks about really anything else that has anything to do with the story of the game. Rather, it focuses fully on clearly and quickly describing the unique mechanic of the game and several ways that one might experiment with it. It was only after the uniqueness of the game was well established by millions of people playing it that they marketed the sequel with the story. It's been a long time. How have you been? But even then, many of the video promotions for Portal 2 focused on new mechanics they have added since the first one, as well as the possibility of a two-player game mode. Brian Upton went on to say, One of the things that we would always look for to determine if a game was worth making is what is the hook? What is the unique thing that's going to make this different, that's going to make it stand out from, um, from all the other games that are out there? So the first thing we need to do is focus on our gameplay and core mechanic. Then the story comes after. Now it is possible to work backwards. If you already have a great story, you can use that story to inspire a unique core mechanic. However, you have to be ready to chop any parts of the story that do not contribute to that core bit of gameplay. Story in a game is important, but no matter how important the story is, the core mechanic of the game is far more important. So any story we write should fit well with our core game mechanic. Once again, I will take Portal as an example. If you haven't played Portal 2, then just know that for about one minute, I'm going to be spoiling it. So skip ahead. The story in Portal 2 explains a little of the origins of Gladys, the sarcastic AI that is obsessed with testing. This is shown when Wheatley, another AI, takes her place in the second and last act. These interesting and exciting plot twists only serve to explain why the game's core loop and mechanic, which is get from point A to point B using the portal gun, is repeated so often in both the first and second game. And that is that Gladys is literally programmed to test endlessly. She can't help it. In this case, the story makes the gameplay feel believable, rather than like just levels in a game. So the great story gives us an excuse to have the rather odd mechanic of a portal gun and play with it. Another example might be Mirror's Edge. The game is a fast-paced parkour running game, 
So fittingly, the world and story that was handcrafted for the game gives the player purpose and meaning to their frantic attempts to pull off a full sprint wall dash jump dive and roll thingy, like I just did here. Nailed it. Of course there are always exceptions. Arcade and party games seldom have any story at all because they don't need them, and interactive novels are all story, but I guess you have to ask yourself if those even count as games at that point. <clears throat> they don't. So a few things to remember. Core gameplay mechanics are always more important than the story. When writing our stories, we should be prepared to edit out anything that does not support our main mechanics. Use the story to give reason and motivation to the gameplay and the player. When marketing a new game, remember that few care about the story, so use it, but not as the main draw. Ultimately, our games will feel good and be that much more fun to play if we have a good story to go with them. But the only way we can have a good story in our games is if it revolves around and supports the core mechanic. As we do this, our games will become better. <laughs>